Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, May 5th. I have the pleasure today of having two first graders with me who are in Mrs. Knopfler's class, and they are going to share with us their writing portfolios. But before we start, Heather, tell us about, about what the students did. I know this was part of the three-way conferences that we had two weeks ago. They put together some all of their work throughout the year. They picked their favorite pieces that shows what they learned this year in each subject area, in each unit we did, and they reflected on what they're really proud of and what they're going to keep working on the rest of first grade. And so we have with us to first graders in your classroom. Could we take a moment and just ask you to introduce yourselves? Hello, my name is Nicholas Romero and I'm in first grade 1F. Hello, this is Peya and Bethany and I'm in first grade 1F. Wonderful, okay. So Nicholas, you picked a math reflection. Let's take a look at that math reflection and ask you to um, tell us what you're excited about working on. I am really proud of this piece because I learned more ways to make money. I am excited to keep working and improving on making more equations with bigger numbers. So you're excited about making more equations with bigger numbers. Great, good job. <laughs> okay. We've got a writing reflection, is that right? And I'll hold up your piece of writing that you worked on. Okay. I am really proud of this piece I am learning that I put close to the end of the world that I think that I am done. I am excited to keep working and improving on the spelling. I have to work at the board. So you're interested in continuing to work and improving on your spelling, correct? Wonderful. And you use the word wall in our classroom to do oh, that, right? Okay. Great. So what do you see as the students go through this process in terms of the, the learning that takes place by having them select pieces to talk about and reflect upon? At the end of every unit, they really think about what they've learned, and then they set goals to focus on for the next unit, and it keeps their learning very focused, and so they're always excited about what's coming next. So it's a very metacognitive process in a way. Absolutely, and every child picks what they're most proud of and what they've learned, and it, each child can do it at their own level. So one child might be saying, I want to put spaces between my words, and someone else might say, I want to put more details and use adjectives and adverbs, and that all can happen in the first grade classroom. And the two of you are how old? I'm seven. I'm seven. seven. And are you seven as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I'm thinking if I can do that as an adult, if I can reflect upon my learning, set goals, and be focused about and excited about what I want to learn best, I feel as an adult I've accomplished something. So for the two of you as first graders to have this skill is really wonderful. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Keep it up, okay? Okay. Thank you. That's Sahifa this week.